back everyone my name is tank and today we're talking about bitcoin ethereum and cardano again i'll be giving you guys my thoughts about where we are in the market as well as where i think we might be heading in the near future currently bitcoin is trading for thirty nine thousand five hundred and twelve dollars we have pushed to the upside after finding a low recently for bitcoin of right around thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars to where we are now 5.11 percent or right around one thousand nine hundred and fourteen dollars to the upside in less than eight hours that's strong, especially when you consider the recent move to the downside that we had took three days, a little bit over three days for it to fully play out. We have since then pumped half of that in less than eight hours. Yeah, three days, four hours. Uh, it took a total drawdown of 11.59%. So yeah, right, well, just short of a half of, of what this drawdown was. We have pumped up in eight hours. Strong, strong, strong. Guys, in fact, if you guys forgot what I said in my previous videos, I told you guys that I thought this selling pressure, even though it took a long time to play out, looked really, really weak. It looked like it was getting weaker and weaker and weaker every single time it came in the charts. And the reason why I said that, guys, is just look at the bodies versus the wicks of these candles. Look how much wick we had on all of these candles, guys. No matter how much candles we had in, look, every one of them had a pretty good wick size on the bottom of these candles. That means good buying support is in around this price range. That could vary from like, you know, like I said, it was like, what, a four to $5,000 price difference between the two, but still we were showing strong support and it took a long time for this selling pressure to play out. So that's part of the reason why I said it looked like it was getting weaker and weaker while it was coming in. And then the other part of this that made me think that was look at the last time we had a double digit drawdown, guys. That move happened in a shorter amount of time than what we are currently dealing with. It took eight hours last time for us to move 10.25% ish. It's right around that. I'm not being completely accurate, but that move, that move was really, really strong because it happened in eight hours, just like the eight hour time frame that we're taking here and pumping to the upside. This, when it takes this long, go figure. It's because it's weak. It's taken a lot longer to get there versus, you know, what it did in the past. So that's why I said the other day, again, why I thought this sell pressure looked weaker and weaker and weaker. Now, it could just be a little temporary relief rally that we're going through right now. Right now, it looks really, really strong though. So I'm not really front running that short position just yet. I do and think that we will see higher price points soon for Bitcoin. There's a lot of fundamental and technical things happening outside of the charts with institutions and companies uh, investing and getting into crypto. Matter of fact, you know, who's to say that they didn't buy down here on this recent drawdown again. I think there's some there's some information out there that's not confirmed, it's just speculate, uh, speculative, but there's some information floating around right now that a big institution or company may have gotten in because there was a lot of OTC movement happening for Bitcoin. I'm not gonna, I don't have time to get into that, but really do your guys' homework. There, that possibility could actually be there. I'm not giving you guys hopium, I'm just saying what I've been hearing and what I've been researching and what I've been seeing on on data uh reports guys it's, it's the great thing about cryptocurrency you can literally see on chain reports and data uh when when price action moves when 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 bitcoin moves you can see it that's the great thing about cryptocurrency versus fiat money it's tra it's traceable it's trackable it's on the ledger for everybody to see but anyway i'm not going to go too much more into that guys right now if we look up market cipher on the four hour time frame we can see the rsis are pointing up we did just get a confirmation not too long ago uh, or at least a green dot on the low anchor wave that was right around the 60 uh, line for the anchor. Uh, let's see on higher time frames actually before we go back down. On the six hour, we did just get a confirmation on kind of a low anchor. Uh, our size are pointing up, so we did get confirmation here. We might actually see it price action go sideways here. Let's see what's happening on lower time frames because if lower time frames are conflicting with higher time frames, then it's going to kind of meet in the middle. So we got to kind of see what's happening on lower time frames first before we make a conclusion on higher time frame uh, chart indicators. So we saw what happened on the six hour. Let's take a look at the three hour since we already know where we were in the four hour. Three hours looking like, yeah, it's kind of fulfilling this upward uh, momentum. We are kind of in the red here with, with money flow, which is kind of concerning. We did get conflicting informations previously with these uh, uh, buy and sell signals uh, of obviously, if you guys don't know on Marcus Zephyr B, um, the green obviously is a buy signal. The red is a sell signal, just like in the charts on Marcus Zephyr A. 
Uh, so we did get some back and forth here. Uh, we did get price action moving to the upside recently, getting all the way up to the 39,500 range. Uh, but right now, as you can see, just making this video, we've gone all the way down a couple, like $125 or so since then. Um, and it's only been a couple of minutes. So we might just have some sideways action or crab action on the charts. Let's take a look at the two hour here. Yeah, two hours looks like the RSI is maybe rounding out on market side for A. We did just get an indicator that trend reversal might be happening. Now these, these triangles here are the trend reversal signals doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to reverse to the to the other side it could actually mean that this trend or downward pressure is going to reverse and go up i'm just saying it's a signal there you can't really front run and say you know for certain what it means uh but we did just get that trend reversal signal here on the two hour time frame for market cipher a right now i'm just kind of concerned this looks more if i'm taking all these other indicators uh and oscillators to, uh, into account it does look like on the two hour time frame this would probably mean that we're going to be coming back down because the RSI is pointing kind of kind of rounding off here. Uh, the money flows in the red, and we did just go through a bunch of mixed signals here on Market Cipher uh, B on the two hours. So let's take a look at the one hour. Yeah, one hour kind of looks like it's rounding here. Same thing for this other RSI. Money flow in the red. It kind of looks like maybe we have hit a, a, a temporary top for now, uh, and maybe we come back down to this 50 EMA on the one hour. Let's see where we are on the four hour. Yeah, maybe we, come, we could even on the four or come back down to this 50 EMA before catching another rally up here. Not saying, you know, to take a long or a short just yet. It could happen, you know, like that in either direction. We've already seen what happens over the past eight hours or what happened over the previous past eight hours. Um, so, yeah, just saying what I'm seeing. Let's give it some time to play out. Today is a very special day for uh, the EIP, actually the EIP for Ethereum has not even rolled out yet. I think it's gonna be later on today because it actually happens on a block number and not a certain time frame per se. But let's take a look at ETH and see what's going on for ETH. ETH kind of stealing the show again, guys. ETH pumping up all the way up to, it got, I think it got over 2,700 just recently. Actually, yeah, it got all the way up to 2,730. Uh, so really, really bullish for ETH right now, guys. Uh, again, EIP, the long awaited EIP is coming out for Ethereum. Uh, I think later on for us here in the States, later on, it'll probably be late tonight. Late tonight or early morning. I'm not too sure. I have to go back and look at that. But it, it's, it's it's coming. It's right around the corner. Now, a lot of people are front running it. A lot of people are kind of, I also, if I'm being honest, speculative as well. A lot of people are thinking this is going to be, you know, a uh, 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 buy the rumor, sell the news kind of event. Uh, and it might possibly be. It might possibly be. Right now, though, things are looking really, really bullish for ETH. Really bullish for ETH. Um, if we took a look at the four hour time frame, you can see that we just got uh, on the market set for B, RSI are pinching together. We just got a buy signal not too long ago. Not like Bitcoin, money flow is deep in the green right now. If we take a look at the six hour and go upwards, we do have the same thing. Uh, a buy signal here on market set for B. We also have money flow in. RSI are starting to round back up again, guys. We do have quite a big wick on the six hour here. It's about half the length of the body of this candle. So that's a little concerning. So we are seeing a lot of sell pressure, but honestly, I was kind of anticipating a lot of sell pressure coming in around that $2,700 uh, price point for Ethereum. Um, yeah, right now things look really, really bullish for ETH. I really wouldn't take a short position right now. I know a lot of people are like, you know, they're selling at 27 and that could be resistance, could be. I'm thinking eventually we're gonna break past this and probably get to 3000. That's where the big sell pressure comes in. Um, let's take a look at lower time frame. So a three hour time frame here. Uh, RSI is pointing straight up almost. Uh, money flow is still in the green. A lot different than Bitcoin. Obviously people are front running the, the development for ETH uh, and their EIP, but uh, yeah, two hour time frame pitching together here nicely. We did just get a continuation signal on uh, market set for A with this green dot. Money flow still in the green, looking really, really good, guys. Looking really, really good. Uh, our size on the one hour pitching together, uh, money flow still in the green here. We might catch ourselves coming back up just a little bit more. In fact, this is a good example here what I was talking about Microsoft for A, when you get these trend reversals, they don't necessarily mean that it's gonna reverse to the downside. It could be a continuation of the current trend upwards. It could be a, a, a you know a trend reversal of this recent downward pressure. So again, you know, don't really front run those. Sell Here's my best advice: don't just be a signal trader. If you have MicroCypher and you you know, or you have something similar to that, don't just be a dot trader. Don't just be, you know, a signal trader. Kind of look at several other things lower higher time frames along with other uh, oscillators and indicators to give you a better idea of what actually might be playing out just because you see one thing 
on, on a certain on one time frame doesn't mean that that's what necessarily is going to happen you have to look look at the bigger overall picture guys but yeah that's what i'm seeing right now guys i'm seeing a lot of uh selling pressure right around this 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 range um and to be honest with you though i think once that selling pressure gets eaten up because i think the buying pressure is far outweighing the selling pressure right now um then we're just going to kind of skip right on over to 2800 and get into that pretty quickly and if we do three thousands not too far away for ethereum's price but let me jump into ada real quick ada doing a crazy job as well guys ada pumping up one dollar 38 cents we're jumping into one dollar 39 cents here shortly guys in fact we've already gotten there previously we're on the one hour time frame as you guys can see here we've already got there once uh, i think we're going to break up into that once again as you guys can see money flow for the one hour just got back into the green rsis are pinching and pointing upwards here let's take a look at the two hour time frame same thing pinch together money flow in the green uh it looks looks really good right now let's take a look at the three hour same thing guys pinching together quite nicely in the green on market cipher b it looks like we have room to go up 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 guys i know there was a lot of bullish news uh, especially with uh japan and their exchange uh saying that they're going to be putting it on their their uh exchange or platform uh here soon uh as far as ada goes uh that was super super bullish guys once asia or japan unlocks that capability for their consumers or their uh clients to buy more ada I mean, come on, they're savvy. The Japanese are super savvy with their technology and their investments, guys. They know, like we know, ADA has really good potential going forward, guys. And they are going to want to get in on that. Um, let's look at the four-hour time frame, guys. Four-hour time frame, we just got a trigger uh, dot here not too long ago. RSI are pinching together. Money flow is still in the green. Let's take a look at the six-hour since we went up to six-hour with all the other ones. Everything's looking really, really good. We might be taking a little bit of a breather right here. As you guys can see, we've gotten some sell pressure in right now. I think, you know, that $1.40 range, what, from here to $1.40 range for ADA is a big, big resistance level for ADA. There's a lot of bullish things happening for ETH and ADA. Bitcoin, it's all gravy. It's great. I love it. If it goes up, great. But it can just go sideways in my opinion right now. I don't really care about Bitcoin. It can go sideways right now until some really big company or institution comes out and says, you know, we're in the game. We're in the game just like Tesla. We're in the game like MicroStrategy. We're in the game just like, you know, with like uh, Kathy Woods is. We're, we're in it with, with all these other guys. And it's only a matter of time, guys. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time until they do come out and say it. Anyway, guys, that's what I'm seeing in the market right now. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys have not yet liked the video or subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It really helps me out. Like I always say, protect yourself, take profits, stay blessed. Peace.